Healing Arts Studio. I'm Michaela, and I have been teaching our I Accept Me series for um, tweens and teens, and I teach some kids' classes as well. So I know one thing that the kids at the studio absolutely loved was any kind of practice or preparation to do a handstand. So I thought I would do a video today um, just giving you guys an idea of some of the different, um, different types of poses that you could show your kids and or show them this video and they can practice and get stronger. So handstand prep for you today or for your child just might be, you know, just lifting your arms. Um, if you're just trying to get your arms stronger, you might just, that might just be what's accessible to you today or that might be what you want to do is just um, gain some strength in your arms. And that's what we're going to work on doing in the first couple poses that we do before we actually practice. So, one really great pose to show your kids or have them do to practice for headstands is downward dog. And that is a very popular yoga pose. Most kids will show me this if I ask them if they've ever done yoga before. So, if you're going to do downward dog, you're gonna be on all fours and you're gonna have your knees just about um, hips width apart and your hands about shoulders width apart. You're gonna tuck your toes underneath and lift your tail in the air. And you're just gonna take a few breaths here in downward dog. And you can have your knees bent a little, you can have them straight. And you can come back to all fours. And with kids yoga, they might not be in the pose perfect. They might not look exactly like a grown up or exactly like you, exactly like you think they should. But really with kids, it's just about getting them moving, letting them enjoy some of that yoga energy and just staying safe. So as long as they're doing those things, you don't have to worry about moving their body, changing their uh, limbs and arms and legs around in the pose, just let them have some fun. So once you practice downward dog a few times, we're gonna get in downward dog again, but we're gonna do it a little bit different this time. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna have our hands right underneath our shoulders, just like they're glued to the ground, and we're gonna have our toes tucked under. We're gonna lift our tail up in the sky. And this time we're gonna do three-legged dog. So we're gonna lift one leg up. and lift the other leg. And when we do one thing in yoga, we always want to do the other side as well. You can see my kitty wants to play with the doggy, downward dog today. So you can come back to your hands and knees and you can practice three-legged dog a few times. So the next pose that we want to practice when we get ready for handstands is going to be dolphin. So dolphin looks a lot like downward dog, but you're going to start by gripping your hands together and you're going to make a triangle with your arms. So once you have your hands clasped, you're going to put your elbows and fists down in a triangle, put your head right in between, and lift your tail just like in downward dog. And take a few breaths here. It is so good for your body and your brain to be upside down, and that's why it's so good to practice these poses. So, once you have done downward dog, three-legged dog, and dolphin, we are gonna move to where we can have our heels right against the wall. And we're gonna do downward dog again, but we're gonna move so our feet are pretty much right at the wall we're gonna have our hands down right beneath our shoulders. Might have to adjust a little bit and that's okay. 
And if you can only stay in it for a second and come out and go back in, that's okay. Whatever feels good for your body today. So we're gonna go up into downward dog like this. And then if you're ready, oh, you know what? If you're ready and if it's okay with your mommy and daddy and you've moved a spot where you're not gonna get hurt, then it's time to practice this part. So we put our hands right below our shoulders. Now we go up into downward dog. And when you're ready, you can put your feet up on the wall and you do a handstand. And that is a good practice for when you're trying to get ready. So we'll practice that one more time. Out on all fours, up into downward dog, and our feet up on the wall. And try to stay in it for a few seconds, or as long as you can. And then when you're done and you come back out, you wanna come into child's pose for a little while because you wanna let all that blood flow get normal again. So we're gonna be on our knees and we're gonna reach forward and breathe. Okay, so that is our handstand practice for today. And I would love to see pictures or videos of you practicing. And remember to be careful, be safe, and have fun. Bye.